Okay. Um, as president of the Police Merit Board, I'll call uh, I'll call the meeting to order, and I'll ask the secretary to take the roll call of the members. Mr. Waller here. Mr. Butler here. Mr. Andrews present. Mr. Smith is here. Uh, Mr. Adams is excused from this meeting. Fine. Uh, I'll ask the secretary to uh, read the minutes of the last meeting. Uh, we haven't read them in the past, but in order to be more transparent, uh, I'll ask you to read them, and then we'll make any corrections or additions if we need to. And do you have two? I have three, but I'm going to read the January 15th meeting minutes. Okay. And um, I have in front of you October and December. In November, we did not have a meeting. Okay. So, um, Everybody was here. Um, Mr. Adams was excused. Um, we had no chief report and the new business. We elected our officers and they remained the same as Bill Andrew, president, Dave Adams, vice president, uh, myself as secretary. Um, we scheduled an executive session for 5.30 p.m. on January 30th. Uh, Carrie Thompson uh, spoke to our lawyers that were present about expectations for reports due to the merit board. Um, and under old business, uh, Simpson hearing is complete as of 1:15:20, and a meeting scheduled. A meeting was scheduled for uh, January 30th uh, this this month to determine the results. Under miscellaneous, we had nothing, and then we readjourned. I'll move to accept the minutes as written. Second. Any discussion? No changes or corrections. All approved. Uh, uh, all approved say aye. Aye. All opposed? Minutes passed. Uh, we have the issue of the, uh, with the uh, police officer uh, Simpson, and I'll turn the meeting over right now to our uh, hearing officer, Kerry Thompson. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chairman, first of all, I'd like to note for the record that uh, Officer Simpson and his attorney, Andrew Duncan, are absent tonight. I got an email from Mr. Duncan, I believe it was yesterday, informing me that he had a conflict, could not be here this evening, and that Officer Simpson is traveling out of the state and could not be here this evening. Uh, I told Mr. Duncan and I have informed the board that our decision or their decision tonight will not be based in any way on the fact that Officer Simpson is, is not present and Mr. Duncan is not present. That is not part of the decision this evening. I have given to the board in their discussion session and executive session a, two instructions as to how to interpret the request of the city of Madison and how to interpret the evidence presented by the city and by Officer uh, Simpson. Those instructions will be made a part of the record. They were prepared by uh, Mr. Jenner's office with the consent of Mr. Duncan and he has approved those instructions by email. Uh, one was uh, to discuss what is the burden of proof, the burden of proof being on the city of Madison in this matter, and the other was to discuss uh, what is preponderance of the evidence, uh, which is the burden of the city to prove its case by a preponderance of the evidence. Uh, I will give those instructions to the secretary to make part of the record. I have also given to each board member uh, two proposed findings, one uh, prepared by Mr. Jenner, uh, one prepared by Mr. Duncan. Uh, Mr. Jenner, Mr. Sharp, on behalf of the city, proposed some findings of fact, conclusions of law and decision that would lead to termination. The proposed findings of fact, conclusions of law and decision prepared by Mr. Duncan would uh, lead to reinstatement and each board member has had those for review. I've reviewed them myself, uh, made a few changes to each to propose to the board uh, and still two separate findings, one for termination, one for reinstatement. So those have both been reviewed by the board uh, and considered in part of their discussion. In order to conclude the matter, I would ask the 
the board of the board if there is a motion to adopt either one of those proposed findings of fact conclusions of law and decision of board I would like to move that we accept the chief's recommendation uh, for termination of officer Simpson is there a second to that I'll second that there's been a motion made and a second I would instruct you that if you vote aye on that motion you are voting to accept the findings of fact and conclusions of law and decision of board that will lead to uh, termination of officer Simpson so uh, I'll, if you uh, mr. chairman would take a roll call vote on that I'll ask the secretary to take a roll call and, and again I vote is for termination or accepting the city's recommendation and a nay vote is that you are not accepting the city's recommendation <coughs> Bill Andrew. Aye. Dave Butler. Aye. Bob Waller. Nay. Dermot Smith. Yay. The vote is three to one to accept the uh, recommendation of the chief for termination of uh, Officer Simpson and to adopt as your findings the findings of fact and conclusions of law and decision of board uh, which in the decision say that officer Simpson is terminated as of this date that concludes the matter uh, we'll move to uh, administrative report ask the uh, administration if they have anything to report Nothing. okay do we have any new business Were you gonna? Yeah, um, I asked the board that um, we make a, a vote on um, deciding to put uh, former Chief Perkins back to his um, original rank prior to being appointed to a policy making uh, position when he was made uh, Assistant Chief and then Chief. He has been uh, put back into the uh, ranks of the department. Just in case there's any question, and to be uh, as transparent as possible. I'm going to read the uh, Indiana State statute that covers this issue. It's 36-A-3.5-11D in parentheses. And it says that the removal of a member from an upper level, upper level policy making position is removal from the rank and not from the department. When the member is removed, the member shall uh, be appointed to the by the commission to the rank in which the department member held at the time of the member's upper level appointment or to the rank to which the member had been promoted during the member's tenure in the upper level position if such a rank is open in either case the member is entitled to the pay of the rank that shall be promoted to the rank as soon as the opening is available uh, I think the statute pretty well covers this uh, it basically the way I understand it that uh, Perkins has to go back to the sergeant but we have to approve that according to the uh, uh, according to the statute so uh, does anybody have anything else they want to say about it or I'll, I'll accept a motion that we will uh, accept the statute I know we accept the statute and, and keep Chief Perkins at his sergeant level. I'll second. Previously. Okay, we've got a motion on the floor to uh, accept the uh, statute uh, and go by what the statute says. We have a second. Do we have any further discussion? And just to clarify, he's returning to his merit position. Yes. Any further any further discussion? <clears throat> Uh, all in favor, aye. 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 All opposed? Um, we've covered the administration report, new business and old business. I'll ask the public if they have any comment about anything we've discussed tonight. With no comments from the public, I'll 
uh, move that we adjourn. Will any of the board members have any other business? Yeah, I do. Um, this now is officially my last meeting for this mayor board um, because we drug this out an extra month. I've had a great time being on this board. I only hope going forward, uh, whoever fills these spots, um, uh, the only comment I can really make is, is, is try to improve every single day, take care of our officers, um, get them down the path they need to get down to be successful, um, whatever that may take. So I, I really encourage this team and whoever else fills this void um, to, to continue to push that and make them the best they can possibly be because they risk their lives every day. They, they chase bad people every day. Um, they deserve our support as a government, as a city, and, and among themselves they need to be a, a, a great unit and, and we need, they need to take care of business. So let's get that, get that to happen and thank you guys very much. Um, have we voted to adjourn the meeting? No, we adjourn. Second? Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, we are adjourned until our regular meeting is on February the 12th at 6 p.m. and we usually meet in this room right off the side here. Okay? A couple of things for the board to sign.